Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers. Today I'm going to show finite element analysis of a bracket using ANSYS mechanical video. You can see the model. It is fixed from left hand side and uniformly distributed load will be applied from top side. It is a plain stress problem and material is made up of steel with modulus of elasticity equal to 200 gigapascal. You can convert this one into megapascal, it will be 2 into 10 to the 5 newton per millimeter square or 2e5 and poison ratio will be 0 0.3 and thickness of that material is 3.125 millimeter. We'll be converting all these units into meter. Okay, so without wasting time, let us start modeling using ANSYS mechanical epidural. After finishing this model, we'll go for analysis. Okay, so definitely it will be a static structural analysis. And but to add the elements, let us select default solid quad 4 mode 182 element and element reference type number is 1. This is very important. While providing stress values, we have to recall this number. Okay. And as it is a plane stress problem, we have to provide thickness from here options. Plane stress with thickness to be selected. And next to that, we have to provide the thickness values from real constants. You can add thickness. Element type reference number is 1. Already know. Thickness will be. Let us see the thickness values. It is 3.125 millimeter. We can convert this one into meter. It will be 0 0.20 3125 meter. 0 0.00 meter okay let us close it next to that we have to provide material properties and it will be initiated with material models structural linear elastic and isotropic that means material property remains same in all directions modulus of elasticity it is 2e5 and Poison ratio it is 0 0.3. Okay. Next to that, we have to make the model and it will be initiated with specific areas. Let us create rectangular areas by two corners. Can initiate this drawing from origin. Width of the rectangle it will be 0 0.25 meter and height will be 0 0.05 meter. Apply it is made. Now let us see the drawing. We made this right hand side part and down we have to make this rectangular part. You can see the total height is 0.25 meter as we have to start from origin. The total length should be 0.25 meter but if we are starting from here it will be 0.05 meter less so its height will be 0.25 minus 0.05 meter it will be 0.2 meter and width will be same as before okay so let us start the integral part in the other section it will be originated from origin again width will be 0. 0 5 meter and height will be 0.2 meter it will be downward direction so it will be minus minus 0 0.2 meter apply this med now at the extreme sides we have to put some circular areas so what can we do is we can start circle solid circle and coordinates of the center location of the circle to be provided. It is 
zero point two five and y quadrant will be half of the width it will be zero point zero two five and radius will be definitely zero point zero two five meter apply first one is made now the second one to be provided at the downward location coordinate of that one is needed is 0 0.025 meter y coordinate will be downward so it will be minus 0 0.2 meter and radius will be definitely 0 0.025 meter okay we made these two areas now these areas are separate we have to combine these areas together that can be done from operate booleans add areas you can select all by picking all now it is a single entity all the areas are joined together next to that again we have to put some kind of circular openings at the extreme locations so we can create again areas it will be circular areas solid circle we have to point the location of the circle or location of the center it will be x coordinate will be 0 0.25 meter y coordinate will be 0 0.025 meter and radius is 0 0.00625 meter Let us see that dimension. It is 0 0.00625 meter, right? We can apply this. First circle is made here, and another circle will be provided at the downward position. X coordinate will be 0 0.025 meter. Y coordinate will be minus. 0 0.2 meter and radius will be 0 0.00625 meter okay two cycles are made and that to be subtracted from the main areas so we can start again from operate booleans that to subtract areas for subtraction, we have to select all the areas initially, including that circle areas. Then next to that, we have to select those areas that to be eliminated. Okay, it is done. Next to that, we have to put some kind of fillet at this location, right? So what we'll do is create lines. It will be fillet lines. You can select those lines line selected okay and fillet radius is let us see that fillet radius how much it is the drawing fillet radius is 0 0.025 meter 0 0.025 meter okay so fillet is met but the area is not closed we have to close the area with some specific areas that will be made using areas it will be arbitrary areas and that can be joined by lines let us select those lines and combine those areas together okay this is a closed area now we have to combine this one as a single entity that can be done using operate booleans add areas let us select all these areas from pick all now it is a single entity or model is ready right next to that you have to go for meshing and for meshing easiest option is mesh tool let us start meshing from mesh tool itself and we we'll select smart size and let us mesh it pick all meshing is done at initial level but we can go for refinement of this mesh using 
modification of mesh. If I add all, this is done. Let us refine it again to have better mesh. It appears to be okay. Meshing is complete. Next to that, we have to apply all boundary conditions. Right? Okay. So it will be started from loads. And definitely it is a static structural analysis. New analysis and it is a static structural analysis. Next, we have to apply boundary conditions. The left hand side of this bracket will be fixed. So we have to apply it. structural displacement of left hand side should be fixed. That means left hand side should not move. Structural displacement on lines. Select that line. Okay. And all degrees of freedom should be having zero displacement. Right? We are not providing any values. By default, it will take zero values. So all degrees of freedom is fixed and left hand side is restricted to move. Next to that, you have to provide uniformly distributed load at the top location. Let us see how much load to be applied. It will be 2625 Newton per meter uniformly distributed load. Okay, it will come from pressure on lines. You can select that line. Okay, and it will be 2625 Newton per meter. 2625 Newton per meter. Okay, load is applied. Right? Fine. Next to that, we have to solve it. That can be initiated from solution and current LS. Solve current LS. If everything is right, it will show solution is done. Okay, let us see it. It is showing solution is done, so everything is perfect. We can see our results from post processing. Right? It will be viewed from general post processing. Initially, you will see our results from plot results, deform shape, and you want to see deform plus undeformed. That means you want to see the original shape together with the deform shape. Okay, you can see two shapes are available here. One is blue, and another is white. White shape is actually original drawing, and blue is the deformed one by the application of load. We can view this one as a 3D geometry. So that can be viewed from here. Plot controls, style, size and shape. Uh, display of elements should be on. Okay, now it is 3D. For better viewing, we can see the isometric view. So as it is very small thickness, still it is visible as a 3D object. Okay, fine. When you see contour plots, nodal solution, D-web solution, and displacement vector sum. You can see displacement at different locations maximum displacement is occurring at extreme right hand side location near that semicircular portion it is indicated by red color maximum displacement is 0.399965 meter and minimum displacement is zero at the extreme left hand side where it was restricted to move by applying boundary conditions now the same displacements you can see in the form of listing also List nodal solutions, DOF solution, and displacement vector sum. So it is showing displacements of different nodes at different locations, right? And also you can see that downmost position, the maximum displacement is occurring at node number 17, and it is 
ट्रिपल नाइन सिक्स मीटर डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज वेरी हाई राइट एंड एस क्लोज इट नेक्स्ट टू दैट यू सी स्ट्रेसेस इन इच एलिमेंट इट इज कंपोज ऑफ डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स टू फाइंड दैट एलिमेंटल स्ट्रेसेस राइट Now we can see the stresses also. Let's see stresses from here. Stresses, and you want to see one major stress. It is showing one major stress in the form of listing, and maximum stress it is showing that it is point one five three seven eight into ten to the power six newton per meter square. That is point one five three megapascal. That is occurring at Node number three forty three. You can identify that location of the node also, right? Okay. You can see these stress values from plot results also. Can to plot nodal solution and we want to see stress values. It will be one is the stress. Okay. It is exactly same what we saw from list results. It is. Point one five three seven seven five into ten to the six newton per meter square, or you can say point one five megapascal. Okay, and minimum stress is occurring at the left hand side, which is seven point one nine newton per meter square, and maximum stress is occurring at this location, indicated by red color, right? And that. Fillet location maximum stress is occurring. Okay, and even we can identify that location also. That node number also can be viewed very easily. Okay, excluding that one also, we can find reaction solutions. That means reactions at the supports can be also viewed. Let us see reaction solutions for all items. We showing at different locations. What are the reactions? So these are the values of reactions at the supports. Okay. So this is all about our today's analysis. This is a very simple finite element analysis of a bracket using ANSYS mechanical epidural. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. And if you have any kind of doubts, please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.